Well, the ever-evolving chaos continues for the Tory party after two more MPs have quit, forcing Rishi Sunak to arrange a micro-reshuffle. Armed Forces Minister James Heapy followed up on his previous promise to step down and has been replaced by Leo Doherty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never heard of him before either. <laughs> Meanwhile, Robert Halfon has stepped down as Education Minister and has been replaced by... Luke Hall. Who? Yeah, me neither. And we're still, that's what they do at football matches when they bring on substitutes. Who are you? Who? Uh, and that was a couple of who's, wasn't it? So we're still joined in the studio by political campaigns consultant Rebecca Ryan and journalist and author uh, Ella Whelan. I mean, we were talking earlier uh, that uh, Rishi, uh, Ella, seems to be at the centre of this sort of firestorm of disintegration. You know, 63 Tory MPs have now said they're not standing at the election. We've got cabinet ministers stepping down. The polls are re uh, recording uh, the worst ever poll results for the Tory party. Uh, John Curtis, the John Curtis, the doyen of the uh, pollsters. Uh, we pressed him on it last week. He was a little less forthcoming. But this week, he says it's 99% yeah. certain that the Tories will lose mm. the next election. So Rishi is just... It's almost pathetic and tragic. He's fighting such a losing battle. But, I, you know, I've got no sympathy. It's his fault. No, it is his... Well, it's not just his fault. It's the party's fault. Mm. Um, and it is tragic. I mean, it's quite remarkable. You've had, over the last 24 hours, some pretty senior Conservative commentators who are relatively influential, um, going on various channels, talking about how Rishi Sunak himself is thinking about stepping down. Uh, Tim Montgomery saying, you know, oh, I think he can see where the problem's like. No, I mean, you just think, Jesus, this... I mean, talk about airing your dirty laundry in public. This is, like, yeah. unbelievable. The Conservative Party cannot keep itself together. Um, I, I think it's... I'm no fan of the Conservative Party, never voted for them, never will. Um, but the, I think it's important to have a strong opposition if Labour is now almost sort of um, certain to get in. And the, the depressing thing about the Conservative Party is that they have no interest in, the seem, seemingly no interest in the future of British politics. They've completely given up. I think the message coming across to voters is... Why bother? You know, why yeah, that's bother? Yeah, that, that's it, isn't it, Rebecca? The, uh, um, abstain will probably win the next election. <laughs> Don't yeah, bother absolutely. voting. Sit that will be hand. the biggest number. It Indeed. seriously will be. Well, the thing is, what it comes back to is, is politics is all about numbers at the end of the day, and it's all about the sort of momentum of how things are going. And we are now just... The Conservative Party is just in a tailspin. You know, this absolute chaos that's uncontrollable, mm. and everybody can see it. And you see, um, you know, ministers like Robert Halfon, who is, you know, a hard-working sort of blue-collar conservative kind of guy who is, you know, Tory through and through. And he's just he's just seen, you know, the what's what's coming down the line for him. And he, he, it's not it's not enough for him to sort of fight another fight. And that really tells you something, doesn't it? When all of these people are, you know, saying, you know what, I'm not going to I'm not going to stand again. Um, and it is it's, it is concerning. And as you say, there needs to be a strong opposition. I think the, the conservatives after the next general election, when the 99% the certainty that the Labour comes yeah. in, they will get themselves back together. The Conservative Party yeah. um, have a way of doing that. They're like cockroaches in, a, <laughs> in a, an apocalypse. They will get themselves back together. You're, um, you're what right, will they, take? they will get themselves yeah. back together. There might be a slight name change yeah. to Reform UK. <laughs>